the ailing planet, the green movements roll. We live in a world of pollution, contamination, and bio disaster. We can say that mankind is committing ecocide, making the planet dangerous for life of any kind. This chapter is about ecological disaster and it warns students of the dangers of that plastic wrapper or electromagnetic radiation. If we want to save Mother Earth, we all have to act as her shield, protecting her from all kinds of pollution. At the outset of the chapter, the author tells us about the popular green movement which started a couple or more decades ago specifically about Green Party which was founded in New Zealand in 1972. We all have shifted our pattern of thinking. For example, before the 16th century, everyone was taught that the earth is at the center of the universe. They call it geocentrism. Geo means earth and centrism means center. Was this teaching correct? Well, scientifically proven, it is wrong. Copernicus was the scientist who corrected this wrong teaching. He taught mankind in the 16th century that the earth and the other planets revolved round the sun. He called it heliocentrism. Helio is sun. We can see here that there is a shift in our way of thinking. Earlier, everyone thought that the earth is a non-living organism, that therefore the exploited natural resources for development erased the forest for house construction, killed the wild animals for their collection. They thought that they were the masters of the earth. Were they doing the right thing? According to them, yes. But according to us, we have shifted our perspective. We have discovered that the earth is a living organism and we are part of it. We are no longer the masters, but collaborators. We believe that the earth has its own metabolic needs and vital processes and we need to respect them. It is very easy for us to understand this chapter during this pandemic. How do we know that a person has COVID-19? You all know, right? It is from the signs and symptoms. Similarly, how do we know that the earth is sick? The earth's vital signs reveal that it is a patient in declining health. Think about pollution, global warming, ozone depletion, tsunami, etc. We now realize that we are stewards. Who is a steward? A steward is a person who is responsible for his assignment. We are responsible to take care of the earth and keep it healthy and hand it over to the future generations. I hope that you still remember the definition of sustainable development. Let us revise it. It is the development that meets the needs of the present without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their needs. 
This definition was popularized in 1987 by the World Commission Environment and Development. If you ever go to Zambia in Africa, please visit this zoo at Lusaka. You will find a notice which reads the world's most dangerous animal. You would be curious to see it. The moment you looked out for that animal in the cage, you will not find one. But to your disappointment, you will spot a mirror. Please look at the mirror. Whom do you see? Who is the world's most dangerous animal? None other than you. Many agencies are giving their efforts to change the mindset of mankind that we are not the masters of the universe but we are partners in it. The earth is our ecosystem and we have to live alongside with other inhabitants as well. Mr. L.K. Jha was a member of the Brand Commission. During its first report, it raised the question, Are we to leave our successors a scorched planet of advancing deserts, impoverished landscapes and ailing environment? Mr. Lester R. Brown, in his book, The Global Economic Prospect, gives his opinion that there are four pillars to the global economic system. Fisheries, forests, grasslands, and croplands. What is the frightening is that human have been using them indiscriminately with no concern for the future generation. In poor countries, local forests are being disseminated in order to procure firewood for cooking in some places. Firewood has become so expensive that what goes under the pot now costs more than what goes inside to be continued.